Hello, hello, and welcome. I'm gonna try to explain how I did the glow for my 3D avatar. Over here, you can see that it already has some glow. This is the how it looks like when using the EV render engine. And to explain a bit, this over here is the the emission mask for the eye texture. You can see that this here is map here and this one over here is for the body you can see that the belly scales are here and same for the horns and for the purple fluff this this texture you can create using your 2d paint program and using the texture templates that your avatar base creator included with the avatar. You can also use Blender's texture paint feature to paint some of the of the emission mask or adjust them. Like where you can see that there's like a, a seam or something you can adjust it using the texture paint. Else. So once you have your your emission mask texture, you can plug it in into the avatar using uh, Blender nodes. This here is the Blender setup. You can see here is the emission mask for the eyes here it is on the left I, uh, I connected it into a multiply node that allows you to set the color here and the result from that node goes into the emission emission parameter of the default principle shader you can use the emission Emissions trying to control the amount of glow, be more or less. You can experiment a bit to see how it looks better. And the other, the other parts of the body, the other materials have a similar setup. For the body, it has an issue that. There's, uh, I wanted to have two, two colors for the, I wanted to have two colors for the glow. There's the color for the belly scales and the color for the, or above the tail, like this part here. So in addition to the emission mask, I also created a color here. Yeah. This is to set the color of the glow and to combine them both uh, I plugged in the color into the other input of the multiply node that way that way the instead of being a, a fixed a single color like here for the eyes it's two colors this that you can set using this texture and there's also an issue with the with the fluff because initially I tried to paint it manually but the texture for the fluff is a bit it's a bit complex. You can see that there's a lot a lot going on here. So instead of painting the the mask mask for the fluff directly, I use baking so we can start talking about baking which will be used later again to make uh, the glow look a lot better so let's try doing doing the baking for this texture i'm gonna 
first I'm gonna do a, a video setup. I'm gonna go through all the materials in the body, in the body object. I ensure that I have a, a in, in, in the image texture selected in the notes because I don't want the baking procedure to overwrite any of my textures that, that I already have. So for, for the fluff, I'm gonna take this empty uh, image texture and create create a new texture call it of fake and with this selected I'm gonna go into the scene tab and into fake I need to change into cycles render in your first and when you change into cycles you have to make sure that you enable these the noise parameters because if I disable you can see how it looks awful so you want to keep this enabled and then we go into baking here in the bake you can expand the bake tab and here we have the settings for our baking. What we want here with the for the flop is to bake the ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion to explain it quickly is like the parts of the model that are more deeper and in like the small looks and crannies like in this part here that is deep and uh, covered by everything else that those are the parts that we have the most ambient occlusion and we want those to make those parts the more have the most glow so ambient occlusion is a good quick way to do, do this glowy effect for the flow once you select a here ambient occlusion, I think that that's, that's all we have our uh, image texture that would be the, the target for the bake and we started. This takes a while so I'm gonna cut the video. And so now that the baking procedure finished, you can see here is the baked material which is what I'm using here I also after doing the baking I did some adjustment because you can see here in the baking there's this noise and I had to adjust it manually using a, a my 3, uh, 2D paint program I did some blurring filtering to get rid of the noise from this, from this bake texture, I use a color ramp node to adjust to uh, tweak how much glow and where the glows happens. And like if I go to let's let's go back to Eevee. Like here I can adjust if the glow goes further out or it if it stays in the small parts of the the more occluded parts of the fluff. So this allows you to tweak very very with a lot of precision where do you get the glow. And from there it just it, like before it goes into a multiply node and then into the emission so the next step is to 
use baking again to because let me explain a bit then. in VR chat the render engine in render engine is more similar to the EV render engine so if we use this uh, emission mask on VR chat our avatar will look more like this but we can use the cycles render engine and baking to make our avatar look more like this and we can do that by taking this lighting from cycles and baking the lighting directly into our mission maps to do that we go just like before we're gonna go to our, our materials and select in a empty image vector in each one and i'm gonna do the baking for the body so in the body material i'm gonna create a new texture i'm gonna call it body png okay And with this selected, I'm gonna go to my render settings into bake. And instead of using ambient occlusion bake, I'm gonna use combine. And in combine, I'm gonna keep uh, enable the direct lighting and indirect lighting. The direct lighting would be the light that the material itself itself emitting. So our our emission maps will also end up in the bake texture the indirect light is the bounce light and the light from that is emitted from material bounces at least once into into some other surface and then it goes into the camera and contributions uh I, you i'm gonna keep enable the fuse I'm gonna disable glossy and transmission because uh, we don't need that. And I'm gonna keep enable emission so our emission, uh, uh, the effect of our emission maps is visible into the bake texture. Um, we start the bake. I need to select the body. Uh, when if you get this error, nobody select the object. You have to select the object that you want to perform bake for and there it goes i'm gonna return when the one so now that the baking is done you can see here on the left this is how the bake texture looks like you can see that all of the parts that are receiving light get this nice glow on the texture itself and the parts that are emitting light also get a color. So if now let's let's make the 3D view a bit bigger and what well, first let's switch back to EV. Okay, something here. Just a second, it proves. Well, and uh, just leave it like that. Yeah. I'm gonna go to body and I'm gonna replace what we had before here. The emit uh, using the emission maps for the emission, I'm gonna replace by the new texture that we made. And voila, you can see how the emissions the bounce light is is now visible in the EV render i'm gonna turn down the emission strength a little bit it looks a lot a lot better now compared to just using emission map <laughs> And you can do that the same for the other materials too. And for cloth. 
I have it. I have the baked texture already from, from before uh, for the eyes. Uh, for here. Really like to use. Let me switch this to the one I did before. Yeah, there we go. And this is how it looks when it's all done. After you bake the the lighting, you probably want to adjust the emission strength because sometimes the baking makes the emission a a, a lot stronger than than the way the it was before. So you need to adjust the emission strength level. I'm gonna give you a one last look. And that is all. I hope this wasn't too long and my explanations were were, were good and hope it helps. See ya.